Iconic players tier list. Let's go. So we have tiers. The GOAT. Amazing. Good. Average. And then hell nah. And today I'm going to be ranking every iconic player in eFootball 2024 mobile. And you comment if you agree with me or not. Let's begin. First, we have Johan Cruyff. Oh my god, dude. Yo, yo, do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do right now? Okay, so let me, let me add a row. Let me add a row. Okay. Yup, so that's Cruyff. And guys, I'm gonna rate these cards based on eFootball 2024 Mobile, based on how they perform in eFootball 2024 Mobile and not in PES 21, okay? So, Cruyff card, amazing. Deserves the S++ tier, the highest tier above. He is the GOAT, and even higher than the GOAT. Anyways, he is good as hell. Next, we have Zico. eFootball gave this Zico card for free, and it's kind of... Um, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's not that bad, it's good, but it's not really, like, amazing. It's not like, wow, this card is so good. No, it's not like that. And I think it goes the same with his iconic card, so... Yeah, let's just put him in good, okay? Next, we have... Yo, we have Cassius. Okay, now, the Cassius deserves the GOAT. He deserves the GOAT. Dude, Cassius is literally so good in, in the goal, dude. He is one of the best goalkeeper cards in the game. So... Deserved the GOAT. Then, we have Romario. Romario, his card in PES 21 used to be so good. But, like, in eFootball 2024, right now, I don't think his card is that good. So, um, yeah, deserved good. Deserved good. Next, Ronaldinho. Dude, people used to use him in PES 21 so often. But right now... I don't see Ronaldinho's. I don't see Ronaldinho's. I would say he's good, but like he doesn't really get used that much. So let's say he is average. And also like with his stuff, like his dribbling isn't the best. There are some cards that dribble better than him right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say average. Next, we have Iniesta, dude. <laughs> dude, Iniesta deserved amazing. His passes is something else his dribbling is also surprising his shooting is also good he also has speed what else do you need bro? deserved amazing then we have Beckenbauer oh my god okay well well this guy can literally play in center back bro can literally play in right back bro can play in left back bro can play DMF bro can play center mid bro can play attack dude one of the best cards you can ever get in eFootball. He was he was good in past 21 also. And he's also like very good in eFootball 2024. But like I wouldn't say he's as good as Cruyff though. Yeah, something uh, between the GOAT and Amazing, okay? Let, let's put him in Amazing. Let's put him in Amazing. Patrick Vieira. Oh, Patrick Vieira is good. He is one of the toughest DMFs out there, my boy. I'm telling you. Can't go wrong with Patrick Vieira. I think he's like an orchestrator. He's very good. He's tough, though. He's built. He, he defends good. He defends good. That's what you need from a DMF. And also, his passes are also good. So, yeah. Uh, Oliver Kahn. Oliver Kahn. He's good. He He's good. But, like, I wouldn't say he's as good as Casillas, though. He is slightly worse than him. And also, amazing... Meh, I wouldn't say he's that amazing. Deserved good, deserved good. Burkamp, okay. Burkamp, I don't really have that much experience with Burkamp. I don't, I didn't have his card. And I never used his card. But like, from what I've seen, from what my opponents used, Burkamp is pretty nice. He is pretty good. Let's put him in the good tier. High good tier, okay? Let's put him in the high good tier. Then after that, we have Van Basten. Okay, okay. No comment. This guy is shooting. He shoots from like 100 kilometers away. He does a rising shot. He scores. Bang. Easy. And also this guy. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say his name. I'm gonna say his name. Ruminiga. Damn. Okay. So yeah. He is the GOAT. I, I am gonna put him into the GOAT. He is better than Cassius for sure. He is better than Cassius. Dude. He is cracked. He is cracked. 
His speed. His shooting. He has double touch. Dude. He's so good. You can't go wrong with him. He is, he used to be one of the best center forwards out there in PES 21. And I think he's still viable. I think he's still good. Although I don't see him use that much. But like he is goaded. Trust me, he is goaded. Nedved. Nedved. I, I again I haven't used Nedved. I, I never used Nedved. And I can't really say much about Nedved. But I must say he's decent. Okay? He is decent. Uh, I'm gonna put him in average, okay? I'm gonna put him in average. Batistuta! Dude, Batistuta was my first, like, legendary card. Like, the golden card. When I first played with him, when I tried shooting with him, I just left speechless. By how his shooting is that good. His shooting is something insane. It's so... His shooting is, like, really as good as Van Basten shooting. I would say Van Basten shooting is... Still better than Batistuta, but Batistuta still has the shooting, my boy. I must say, overall, he is somewhere here. He, I, I wouldn't say he's better than Bergkamp. Bergkamp is good, Bergkamp is good. And Batistuta is close to him, so, yeah. Wait, dude, we have no hell nos. Yo, I gotta fix that. Okay, let me, let me quickly put the players I have no idea about. Like, I hate, okay? I literally hate, and I never use nor play against, okay? Let's just speedrun. Nah, hell nah, meh, oh my god, meh, fuck no, hell no, don't even talk to me, who even are you, I hate you, for no reason at all, please just shut the fuck up, yup, I think that's pretty much it, yeah, it's either I hate those guys, or either they're ass, yeah, some, something like that, anyways, we're gonna continue, Frank Lampard, okay, Frank, I, I played with him once, I must say, I played with him once, and I, he was mid, not gonna lie. He was like, he was average. He is so damn average, like, I don't know. He's not even close to Iniesta. He is not even close to Iniesta. Rikard? Okay, Rikard. Um, I also played with him once, but I used to play a lot against this card. And you know what? It was kind of a trouble playing against him. He's, he does his job pretty well, let's say that, okay? So yeah, deserved good tier. Then, we have Golet. Oh, Golet. He is a ki kinda underrated, though. He is kinda underrated. And, again, I, I've i never played with this with his, with his card, so I can't really say that much. But, like, from what I've seen, he is up there, though. He is definitely up there. Del Piero. Okay, Del Piero. Del Piero is at least good. Del Piero is good. Uh, let, yeah, I'm gonna put him here. Del Piero is good. Xavi. Uh, he is good. He is good, but like, he's literally Iniesta, but like slightly worse, you know? I'm gonna put him in average. He's just Iniesta, but worse. Not really that much going on. Gerard? I... I mean... In Evil Ball 2024, his card is kinda average. Him? Oh, okay, so... He was... He was good in PES 21. He was very good in PES 21. But like, now? Uh... He is questionable, okay? He is questionable. Never used him in eFootball 2024. And I feel like he's somewhere here. Yeah. Puyol. Okay. The thing with Puyol is... Okay. This might be controversial. But I'm gonna say Puyol is kind of bad. He is kind of bad. Puyol is kind of bad. I played against Puyol a lot. Trust. I've played against him a lot. And every time getting over him wasn't that hard. Okay. It was kind of easy. He is kind of easy to play against, so I wouldn't really rate him as high. I'm gonna put him average. Maldini, oh my god, okay, Maldini now, oh damn, Maldini now, oh, okay, Maldini deserves, dude, Maldini is the toughest center back out there, he is one of the toughest center backs out there, dude. I have no idea, but when I play against him, I can never go past him. He's good. He is good. This card is just scripted, okay? He is scripted. Totti, okay. Totti... Nah, he's mid. I would say he's mid. Roberto Carlos. Oh, deserved the goat. Best left back. Best left back. Roberto Carlos. Very good. Got the speed. Got passing. Free kicks. Dude, his free kicks slay, bro. 
bro has outside curler, which is nice. And like overall, he's he's very good. Left back? He's one of the best left backs out there. Rivaldo, um, with Rivaldo, I have, I don't know about this card. I never used it. I never used it, okay. But like, I feel like, I feel like he would be somewhere here. Mathaus, from what I've seen and from what I've experienced, he is decent, okay? He is decent. He has the basics. Broken pass, broken dribble, broken run, broken even shoot. Yeah, I can't go wrong with that. So, I would I would say he's b even better than Xavi. I would say he's better than Xavi. Maradona! Okay, this is gonna be a controversial one, again. I think Maradona is not that amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, most of the people would put Maradona like somewhere here or the GOAT or amazing at least but for me he's just not it okay you know what you know what just one body shot GG's I'm gonna say his dribbling is good he's quick though he is good though don't get me wrong he is quick as hell but like that's about it he's okay his curls are good his shooting can be good but like besides that nah I must say he is average. I wouldn't say he's really that bad. Um, I would put him higher than Ronaldinho though. He can be used. If you can use him right, he can be used. But like, if you can't really use him, then he is so mean. Petr Cech is the one and only goalkeeper that can come close to Casillas in terms of goalkeeping. His card, even though the rating is low, performs better than Oliver Kahn. Legit. So, yeah, I'm gonna put him right above Oliver Kahn. Perucha is something else. He was scripted, dude. He was scripted. Skulls. Okay, Skulls. Uh, again, Skulls. Hmm. Here. Kafu. Okay, Kafu. I, uh, I've played against Kafu a lot. And he's good. Dude, I keep saying that everyone is good. Oh, my God. He got everything that is needed for right back. But I wouldn't say... That he is as good as Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos is still better. And I wouldn't really say he's that amazing, okay? Uh, I would... Okay, so for right back, he does his job very good. But there are better right backs out there to use besides Cafu. So, yeah, I'm gonna just put him in good. Pirlo! Oh, Pirlo. Pirlo, Pirlo, Pirlo. Here, Pirlo. His passing is something else. I remember the time. I remember the time when everyone used to play Pirlo DMF. And they would literally spam along through balls. I hated that. But yeah, it worked. And Pirlo's passes were just something else that moment. And I think he's still good. His card is still good. So yeah, he is up there. This guy, I forgot his name. I have no idea what his name is. But from the looks of him... Okay, I'm gonna judge him by his looks, okay? I'm gonna judge him by his looks, and by his looks, he looks average. He looks average somewhere, somewhere here. Habi Alonso. So, with Habi Alonso, I was hyped for his card. When I, when I played with him, I was hyped. I thought, he's gonna do good. But, after I played with him, I realized, he's low-key mid. Still better than a lot of cards. I would say he's better than Skulls, but... He is not, like, really that amazing. It's not really that impressive. This guy, oh, what was his name again? Anyways, he is average. Wait, you know what? You know what? Okay, good. We have this now, okay? We have this. Let's put him and him here, okay? They are eh. They are eh. Torres, dude. I needed that. Torres deserved the GOAT. Wait, you know what actually though? Yeah. Dude, Torres, the, the thing with Torres is, the thing with Torres is, he runs fast as hell. We Bro, is like Mbappe. Also, his shooting, boom. His shooting is like Van Basten shooting. And also like Ruminex shooting. Very good. His dribbling sucks, his passing sucks though. But like, he is a complete center forward. Like, what center forward needs to have? Offensive awareness, speed, shooting, finishing, a little bit of physicality. He has it all. The amount of goals I conceded from this guy is... Uh, 
He's good. He is good. I wish I had his card. I wish. Back him. Okay. Back him. Back him. Uh, I must say. I must say. I don't. In eFootball 2024, his card isn't the best. In PES 21, his card was the best card. 102, young, back him. Bangers. He was the GOAT. I would put him in, oh my god, tier. But in eFootball 2024, he doesn't feel that amazing. He is still good though. He is still good. He is still good. I would put him in good. But he's not the one he used to be. So, yeah. Sad. We have uh, Guardiola. Guardiola. Okay. Okay. Guardiola. Eh. Eh. I don't know. I don't get the hype. I don't. I just don't get the hype. Irvin. Irvin is also eh. Like, dude, why use Irvin? Roberto Carlos. Far better. Campbell. Campbell is amazing. Campbell is amazing. I remember. His card was not even that high rating. He used to be better than the defenders that had a high rating than him. Like, he was so damn underrated. If you had him, and if you use him, you would not replace him with any other defender. He was that good. Law, um, nah, meh. I would say he's better than, he's still better than Irvin though. But like, just, Law, dude, what? Why? There are so many better center forwards out there. Shevchenko, okay. Shevchenko, Let's put him here. Average. Who's this? I I have no idea what his name is. I forgot. But nah, he's mid. Dude, he's eh. Still better than even though. And I think he's better than Law. He's better than Law. Park Jisung, dude. Park Jisung. Bro has the best stamina in football. He was so quick. His passes were mid though. His passes were not the best. Not like Iniesta, but he was quick. His dribbling was good. His shooting was not the best, but his stamina was good. And he could literally play 90 minutes straight without getting tired. So yeah, he was good. And also, I have one request for you. Be as humble as PUBG soon and smash the like and subscribe button. It helps me a lot to come up with these bangers. So your engagement would be highly appreciated. And also, if you want to support me even more, you can become a member and get exclusive rewards. I have stickers and badges. I don't have that many stickers though, but like once I get more members, I have some new stickers cooking up. Anyways, Park Ji Soon, he is... Okay, 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 okay. Let's just, let's just analyze, okay? Would I use him over Matthaus? No, I don't think so. Would I use him over Xavi? I don't think so. Would I use him over Javi Alonso? I don't think so. But I would use him over Skulls though. I don't know, I just hate Skulls that much. I just hate him. No reason at all. Biased. Anyways, Morientes. Morientes was underrated though. Mario Morientes is underrated. Morientes, dude, he is one of those quick, quirky guys out there. I'm gonna put him low good tier. Oh, him. Okay, I forgot his name again. Okay, I, I forgot his name again. I am forgetting names. Okay, I am not the best. Okay, I'm just I'm just getting crazy. He does his job good. And I would say he's better than Shevchenko. So, yeah, let's put him in average. Him. By the looks of him, he doesn't really seem that appealing. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea about him as well. Dude, him? Gilberto Silva? Dude, he is like... He was very close to Patrick Vieira. Defense-wise, he was good, but like offensive-wise, he wasn't really that good. Mostly defense. You use him mostly in defense. And I would say, I would say, he is, uh, is he better than Rijkaard? I'd, I'd say he, like defensive-wise, as a DMF, he is better than Rijkaard, I'd say. Better than Kafu, for sure. Let's put him here. Wait, what? Kafu, I'm gonna downgrade him a bit. And let's put him here. Okay, we continue. Who is this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. No comment. No comment. This guy. Eh. 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 Oh! Okay, Cole, he was a super sub. He, he was a super sub, and in the second half, he used to slide it. He was fast. His finishing was good. And overall, he was a nice center forward. He was a nice... I'd say he was better than Morientes. And I'd say he's better than Kafu. And even better than Becky. Okay, I would put him right here. He is good. He was my first ever iconic card. So I gotta stay biased. Pettit never played him. I'd say average. Inzaghi. Okay, the thing with Inzaghi is... Look, look, listen, listen. The thing with Inzaghi is... 
He is literally Holland, but like iconic, okay? He is Holland, but like smaller version of Holland. Holland is tall, but Inzaghi is kind of small, but like he's literally like Holland. He is super soft. And in the second half, he slayed. He slayed. And I think still, if he, if you can play him right, he's still gonna slay. He is better than Cole though. He is better than Cole. You know what? I actually in Pest 21, I used to uh, use them both. I used to... Go Cole and Inzaghi in the second half. And he used to come back, bro. He used to be a comeback machine. And why do I have a second Cole? Who is this? Okay, this guy literally looks like this. Bro looks like this. And also, bro looks like this. No offense. No offense, though. I have too many, too many school skeletons. But, nah. Nah. Bebeto. Nah. Yee. Okay, I'd say he's... He is... He is high up there, okay? He's high up there. Let's put him here. Let's put him here. Then this guy, Nakuramata. I don't know his name, but like, he it started with an N, I'm for sure. And here we go. Complete eFootball 2024 mobile iconic tier list. Don't mind me. I am the Rizzler. What do you think about tier lists? Is there any changes I need to do? Write down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to like and subscribe. I am, as always, one and only Revo's Rizzler. See you in the next video. The fuck?